and attention all personnel, this is the NTD conducting the launch status check. Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC. OTC is go. TBC. Thank you, booster go. Okay, Fergie, uh, we're starting to feel pretty good down here on the ground about this one today. So on behalf of the greatest team in the world, uh, good luck to you and your crew on the final flight of this true American icon. And so for the final time, Fergie, Doug, Sandy and Rex, good luck, Godspeed, and have a little fun up there. Hey, thanks to you and your team, Mike. Until the very end, you all made it look easy. The shuttle is always going to be a reflection of what a great nation can do when it dares to be bold and commits to follow through. We're not ending the journey today, Mike. We're completing a chapter of a journey that will never end. You and the thousands of men and women who gave their hearts, souls, and their lives for the cause of exploration have rewritten history. Let's light this fire one more time, Mike, and witness this great nation at its best. The crew of Atlantis is ready for launch. Thank you, sir. We'll get you going here in a couple of minutes. The countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. The other sequence has been initiated. The launch sequencer will be checking over a thousand parameters between now and when it hands off to Atlantis' onboard computers at T minus 31 seconds. The Atlantis is safe for orbital access arm recheck. Atlantis, this is OTC. This day has been over 30 years in the making. There have been many fabulous missions throughout the years. On behalf of KSC launch team, past and present, we salute the entire astronaut corps for their dedication, not only for our expanded knowledge of the universe, but for the improvements you have contributed to on Earth. Have an excellent mission and Godspeed. Next milestone is a check of the orbiter's flight controls. the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the vent hood. TLT OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Fuel cells going to internal, external plane camera being activated at this time. Unexpected errors. Copy that. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 slow. T minus two minutes. Solar rocket booster cameras being activated. Water system is being armed. T-minus one minute. computers at T minus 38. T minus 35, 33. And we have had a failure. And NTD, and NTD, STD concurs. They satisfied the requirements of GSC 13 prepackaged in the CIM GO. Okay, I copy and launch director. Yes, sir, I heard all that. Concur. Press on. All right, very good. NTD, STD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I need concurrence. All right, very good. And launch director, with that cleanup, we're going to go ahead and proceed. Yes, sir. Please do. All right. And all personnel, we are going to pick up the clock here momentarily. And GLS, you can resume the clock on your mark. I'll copy that. Cap on clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. He might have... Auto sequence start. And off to Atlantis' computers has occurred. 
Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. <laughs> Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttles that goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscle for the final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for some rocket booster separation. Traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen to silence as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of the Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. So, ohms 1 is not required. Your preliminary ohms 2 TIG, 37 minutes. 37 minutes, uh, no ohms 1 required, thanks.